it's gonna go. Is that the top? those racks in and it comes with these racks. How many racks? Three? Four, oh, no, one. no. Do they go no face down or face up so no. things don't slide okay. out? No. Are you sure? Yes. Mm -hmm. Just looking short ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bent. Laser bent? Yeah. Look laser cat. Yeah. Yeah. Bend itself back whenever you put stuff on it. Yeah. Hey Lachlan. You're in the video now. Mm -hmm. Oh look. Careful, Lachlan. Watch the camera, buddy. Let him put the bottom one in. Let him put the bottom one in. Go ahead, right, put the bottom one in, Lachlan. Just drink it. Oh, all the way there. Okay. the back. Yay, good job. Devil, stop. Okay. as any I can keep an eye on it. Lachlan, get your stuff picked up, please. And 
and all that. Hi everyone, it's Angie from Pinebrook Homestead and lately I've been seeing a bunch of videos where people are, you know, posting the good, the bad, and the ugly and I, I think I have already done one of those. Um, <clears throat> except for I think I did the good, the bad, and then the awesome or something like that. Anyway, but there is an ugly side to uh, homesteading and gardening and everything that comes with it. And one of them that's not like totally ugly, I think it's more along bad than ugly, whatever, any case, um, it's when your seedlings die. And I know that it has been high 90s, low 100s the last uh, week, I think, or so since I videoed. And I want to show you what happened. And this is even with watering. They're gone. They are decimated. And then yesterday we got a huge, huge thunderstorm. And that's what happened here. So I think some of them are still, I can still save them. I can transplant them into another thing. But these, these are, these are, these are gone. When they say the good, the bad, and the ugly, they're, they're totally not, totally not lying. All right, so, <clears throat> that's not why I'm making this video today. No, I'm not making a video at all because I can't get the dumb camera to act not lucky. What in the world? Anyway, so that was what one, that's what I was supposed to be doing today before my kid uh, showed up. I have an aloe plant that I got uh, over the spring. And if you'll notice, these right here are separate little plants that have popped up. Actually, I think this one here is two separate, but we'll find out. Um, anyway, I want to take these, and these are called pups, or I call them baby aloe, but pups. I want to take these pups and put them in their own containers so that they have their own range, you know, free range to grow. And then I want to transplant the mother plant into a larger container. So uh, I'm going to have Jackson help me. Thanks, Jackson. <laughs> we did his hair. A la Bjorn of Viking style. Looks really cool. Because I was calling him baby. Um, baby plant? Baby, no, baby aloe. I would call him the same thing. So. Okay. So, first things first, I have all of this. I need to be very careful when I flip well, it upside I down. Up first before we move them. Fill it up halfway, please. Yes. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna gently massage this. Can you do me a favor and angle the camera so that we can see what we're doing? Actually, never mind. All right, so. What we are doing is removing, you need to fill that all the way up to the top. Put more dirt in there than that, yeah. Is we're trying to remove these plants from the mother plant. Now she's got a main stem, like right here, that's going to the mother plant. And like this one too. But it's got like a couple of its own filament roots, so I'm trying not to break the filament roots. Same thing with this one, I'm trying not to break the filament roots. I, no, go ahead and take her out. She doesn't have to be in there. Put her like right on there. No, no, because she'll get knocked over. Put her right down there in the bottom. There you go, yeah. Because the last time I had a plant up there, it got knocked over. So I'm going to replant everything that I already planted. <laughs> and hopefully this time it works. <laughs> 